What's up, guys? It's your boy Marcus back for another video on Spiritual Academy. Today, we're going to be doing Cooking with Marcus episode two. Today, we're going to be cooking portobello mushroom ribs um, and fries, right? Bake oven baked fries. Right? I do these all the time. Those are just like, mm, let me add a little side because it may not be enough. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So, first off, we're making plant based ribs out of these mushrooms. So right here, we have the portobello mushrooms I got from Whole Foods. I did soak them and sea salt and water for about six seven minutes just to um get the fans you see the black stuff that we're giving out right now that's to soak that and to kind of soften that so we can get it out i would say dry off your mushrooms this thing i did not do dry off if you're going to try this dry off your mushrooms okay i'll leave all the links down below uh the guy who came up with this was ty's conscious cooking and he have a he have a whole channel where he does like plant-based alkaline dr sebi type diets and this was actually on the dr sebi diet i just have all the seasonings that was on the dr sebi diet guide so if y'all want that i'll link that down below as well as the video directly to the everything you need he goes step by step on what you need okay but yeah i Pretty much got everything out. I wanted this. I wanted to try something new, right? I'm like, okay, I have to try something new, right? Uh, and I was just like, you know what? Boom, let me get this. So I, I go, I go to Whole Foods. I get everything I need. Whole Foods have a uh, wide variety of mushrooms, by the way. Shiitake, whatever you need, basically. Next time I'm gonna get shiitake. But I was like, you know what? I want to eat healthier. I want to try something healthier. So that's what I choose to do today. But yeah, I make sure you get everything out because it took me a minute. You see them right here. Make sure you get everything out, y'all, because it, it takes a minute to really get everything out. So take your time to rush as well as, like I said, dry off your mushrooms because um, you want to make sure that it's not too wet to the point where, you know, it's just ridiculous and it starts breaking off the mushrooms like it did to me, okay? So right here, I just want to make sure I get clean everything off because I do cut potatoes in here later. So I do wipe these counters off uh, as well because cross-contamination, right? We don't want to do that. But um, here, I was basically just trying to wash out a pot, like, you know, trying to, not a pot, but a pan uh, and to wash out uh, for the pan for the mushrooms. So, but yeah, we make sure we wipe it off. And that was just there, right? But we got to grab this. So we want to cut these up here. So this is what we do. All right. So see the little pieces that fell off. These are the pieces that basically fell off as you getting the black stuff out. So right here, we cut them. And this is how you want to cut them about an inch. Uh, yeah, about an inch. So about just perfect right here as I'm doing it right there. It's perfect. So exactly in those chunks. So I use two. Two is perfect, y'all. I thought I was gonna have to just do one. Oh, one for me, no two, bro. Cause they're really like when you cook them down, you you want to have enough to fill you up. That's why I added potatoes, if you will see in the future here. But cut them up really good. <laughs> cut them up. See, they're breaking off. See, I was it was breaking off, but it's okay though because in the video, Ty's tongue just cooking. He was like, you can just cook those up as like rib tins, right? Basically, marinate them as we put everything in this bowl right here. This is actually gonna be the marinade. All right. So, yeah, we cut these up. Make sure the last few ones you cut up really nice. Um, again, dry them off. You can dry them off with like a paper towel or something. We'll do it, right? So here, uh, I grab my other seasons that I have. You can see the uh, sea salt right here. But I do have the Slap Your Mama here. I have another uh, Grill Master seasoning I can't think of right now. But it's kind of like a uh, sweet, like a heat type of thing. But here we go. Of course, sea salt. I should have got like a better one. But... I, didn't, I wasn't really looking. I was like, oh my God, sea salt. Because it was like, didn't have a lot. It wasn't like everywhere where I was like, fine. But make sure you do a, enough sea salt. If you guys do want to go the sea salt route or just um, Himalayan pink salt, if that's what you want to use, use it, okay? But I would say make sure it's more thinner. So I got coarse, right? And those are the grill master seasoning I was talking about. I put a little bit of that on there. Put on some of that seasoning that I got uh, from Whole Foods as well. Seasonings at Whole Foods are healthy, y'all. Uh, some of them, most of them are chemical free, so it's good that you do that. I also went and grabbed my barbecue sauce here because you have to put that on there, right? You just to marinate, you add the barbecue sauce with the seasoning. So just add a little bit, not too much, y'all. Like I always say, uh, a little bit of water so you can kind of get that marinade saucy over. So put that on there, pick it up, and basically start shaking it up right here. Shake it up really well, y'all. And he also said during, like, when you, if you want to marinate overnight, uh, shake it up every hour. Right, so so the sauces can get completely in the mushroom. So maybe that's why I, I gave it a seven. But the seasonings was good. I would say marinate overnight, or at least marinate for like two hours, three hours, or at least. Okay. But here as well, like I said, we're doing potatoes. I was gonna do uh, fries. Okay, bake 
baked potato fries. <laughs> okay, but basically that's what I do. That's how I cook anyway. I don't fry them in a lot of grease, but the grease I do uh, use is olive oil. Uh, I would say great seed oil is the better. Okay, but we wash these uh, potatoes off. We start cutting here. Uh, <laughs> don't judge my cutting. And this is how I do it, right? Because I like mine a certain type of way. So uh, cut them up really nice. All right, really, really nice. And you want to make sure that everything is even. Uh, if you want to cut these, this is something that I just personally added to the side because I was like, you know what, let me just add a little bit of this because this is just like, I always do this. So I cut them up in little cubes and you'll see in a little bit why I do that. Because I don't want them too extra long. Like I want them like thin potato, like potato wedges type of thing, right? So that's how I cut it up really nice. Um, and here we shake them up a little bit, make sure they're all flat. Uh, cut the other potato here. Uh, this, I added like too much, like, I feel like for potatoes, you only need like a potato and a half, you know what I'm saying, but cut these up real good, you are going to cook potatoes, and um, I use a certain season for mine here, uh, you, usually I use slap your mama seasoning, shake them up a little bit, use slap your mama, and use a couple other seasonings here, I use a little bit of sea salt too, because I just wanted to make sure that it was, uh, this is my first time using this type of sea salt, so I was like, you know what, let's throw a little extra on there, you know what I'm saying? So, slap your mama right here as well. Uh, yeah, these, slap your mama is good, okay? They're good on potato wedges, all right? Uh, I didn't need that seasoning. I, I was, the last seasoning was a little too much, but <laughs> check them up a little bit. And then I grab my oil, okay? This is olive oil as well. Uh, like I said, you can use olive oil, coconut oil, whatever it is. But I use a little of this. I use probably a little too much, but it's okay because I want to cook them in the oven, right? So you want to make sure that they're oil on all sides of the potato. And that's why I shake, like, mix them up with my hand here as well. Because you want to make sure they're, you know, they have all oil. Because when you're cooking in the oven versus, like, stove top, uh, you, it's, like, soaked in grease. And I don't need that much. You know what I'm saying? So this is a good tip for y'all. If y'all don't want to, like, cook... Y'all fries and like all these oils, like use all the oil, put it in the oven like I just did right here. And make sure they just have oil all over them. Like a little bit of olive oil in there, you know what I'm saying? Mix it up a little bit and they cook really well. I'll show y'all in a minute. But here I wash it off. This right does have bleaching soap in it. <laughs> okay, for those I do wa uh, wash or uh, make sure it's clean because you basically you just want to make sure it's clean, right? Clean as you cook. It's all this, my auntie always said the clean but here potatoes are done here. This is the ones I wanted to show y'all. Uh, these are good, okay, bro. These, this is like a guilty pleasure for me, cause like, I'll, I'll let's say I'll eat like a a, a wrap, like a let a, to, a tofu um a tofu wrap with uh, guacamole, lettuce, so whatever I would add, I would have tofu. I would add these as a side, <laughs> okay, and I'd be over eating these sometimes, but they be hitting like they be so good, y'all, okay. But those done, and here with the marinade as well, they sat in the fridge for about 45 minutes to start shaking those up just to get the seasonings throughout the mushrooms. So yeah, these are really good. So shake them up really, really well, y'all, as we do here. Um, but yeah, I was trying to like wash the pot out, wash the uh, skillet out for me to start cooking here. Uh, yeah, but like I said, marinate overnight, y'all. Marinate overnight is really well that y'all do this all the, t uh, all the time, okay, because it's just make sure you marinate okay so it can actually get through the mushroom so it can actually be uh, really nice okay so this here we put the oil, olive oil in the pan here and we put it all around uh i would say don't don't like you know how they uh dip like when you dip chicken in flour and then in, in liquid and then back and forth like make sure you get the excess marinade off of your mushroom because this is a mistake i made uh, I'm not really a mistake, but I would just say that so you can cook it well because like it started to drip in the pan here It started to drip in the pan. So which is fine. I cooked with it So it, I had to marinate they actually cooked with it, but it was fine But we put these in here uh, real nice now I'm looking at it, it wasn't too bad But when it started cooking you can see the barbecue sauce was starting to like drip and it was like soaked in barbecue sauce. like basically instead of oil it was barbecue sauce i was freaking cooking it in right that's how it basically was but i put all the riblets everything um in the pan here and i put it around six or seven six or seven on the eye uh turn it up the heat up for it and uh i feel like this was a really good this was a really really good choice because you cook some stove top. This is why I cook some stove top and I put some, and I put it in the oven uh, later, you'll see. 
but this is why I put some stove top because like I wanted to cook it, right? I wanted to cook it still with a little bit of marinade, you know what I'm saying? So it can actually get everything that it needs, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like, yeah, it's really good. You wanna make sure that everything is in there. So that's pretty much it. Here I mix it up a little bit y'all uh, like I say make sure you flip it as well when you're doing that because it really works out well y'all so here the oven is done boom so we did put the oven for a little bit that's me trying to fry and then the real or, or the mushroom right <laughs> so it was good i would say it's really good a seven seven and a half is really good to try out so that's pretty much it y'all all right y'all thank you for tuning in for another cooking with marcus episode two if y'all have any suggestions or any other food Drop it down below as well. Uh, the ingredients I used was portobello mushrooms I got from Whole Foods. I used my own seasoning. I had Slappy Mama. I had uh, sea salt. So just use the seasoning you have. I'll link Ty's Conscious Cooking, which is the guy who created this recipe. I just did. I didn't do everything he said because he had onion powder and other stuff in there. I just personally used what I had. And it was pretty good. The only thing I would say is cook it longer than you expect. Okay, because I like I gave that meal a seven. It was good though. It was really good. But I gave it a seven because I'm like, bro, I should cook them a little longer in the oven, like get that texture of like a rib. You know what I'm saying? But it was still good. It was good. The seasoning was good. And uh marinated, marinated. He said he the dude in the uh Thai Thai said cook it. I mean marinate your uh mushrooms overnight. I only did it for about 30, 45 minutes. So I was watching the video during like marinating it, like as y'all know, the edits cut out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video again. My name is Marcus. Thank you for tuning in for another video of Spiritual Academy. I'm out. Peace.